Hi, I'm Gary Bembridge and this is another of my tips for travellers. In this video, you're going to discover the best cruises and cruise lines for kids, families and multi-generational travel. Cruising with families and multi-generational travel is a big popular trend within travel and cruising. But choosing the right cruise and the right cruise line is really, really important. So I'm going to explain to you the things to consider. The first thing to do is focus on the new ships, particularly the big new ships. So as cruise lines bring more and more ships into their fleets, they're focusing increasingly on the needs of families and the needs of multi-generational travel because they know that this is a big growing trend. So the ships are designed with both cabin configurations which deal for families much more, they have more interconnecting cabins, they more have more family cabins, they'll have areas for example for, with very premium cabins which might suit part of the family which have a bigger budget like the grandparents. So the new ships will also have many more facilities to deal with families and the needs of kids so they have bigger and better kids clubs, they'll have more facilities whether it's rock climbing, go-karting, entertainment facilities, and the whole ship will be designed to provide just so much more for kids and for families. The second thing you should do is focus on the big popular regions and areas to go cruising. So for example the Caribbean, the central Mediterranean area and perhaps to a lesser degree places like Alaska. These are really big popular itineraries. It's where most of the cruises take place. So there's lots of choices of cruise lines, lots of choices of ships but also very importantly they have so much more to offer for families and varying in needs. So if you're on a multi-generational travel you'll find the excursions and the port facilities will deal for perhaps part of the group that want to go on more cultural sides but they also have more family based excursions. So if you go to the Caribbean or you go to the central Mediterranean area you're going to find just so much more and so much more diversity of opportunities. Now increasingly places like Alaska which is a huge and growing cruising area will also have more and more attractions and excursions which cater for the needs of families. I would also recommend that you tend to avoid places like the Arctic, the Antarctic or the Galapagos. Although these are going to be fascinating for kids they are very very expensive to take kids and families on and also many of them have restrictions on the age not only that kids can go but even if they can go there are often restrictions on the age that kids can actually get onto the RIB boats to go out on some of the excursions. I would just wait till they're a little bit older perhaps more in their teens the next thing I would do is avoid the old traditional cruising lines. So cruise lines like Cunard, Holland America Line, Fred Olsen. Avoid those kind of very traditional cruise lines because they have a much more formal traditional approach to cruising which appeals to a slightly older demographic or people who like a more formal type of cruising. They will have much more rigorous dress codes, they'll have much more formal dining approaches, they'll have much less choices of alternative dining venues, they're going to have smaller or even in some cases no actual kids clubs and kids facilities, they're not going to have attractions and features. So they're designed for a very different audience so exclude those. Now I've been on many of those cruises where people have come along with families and I feel in some ways it's almost unfair on the kids because the passengers are slightly resentful of this kids running around and the facilities are not there when I know there are other cruise lines that cater and embrace and just have so much more to offer for families and multi-generational travellers. So exclude the traditional cruise lines and look at those cruise lines that are focusing much more on the family audience and I'm going to talk about those. Also I would avoid ultra luxury lines so you're talking here about lines like Silver Sea, Seabourn, Region 7 Sea, those kind of cruise lines because they again partly because of the audience and the cost of those they're going to be extremely expensive to take kids on but also the people traveling on those are often people who they've had their kids, the kids have left home and they're actually just looking for a kid free zone. So actually the passengers themselves are not as welcoming of families on board because they're actually looking for a more adult experience. Also you're going to find no to very very limited facilities for kids. Some of them will sometimes in the, the peak summer seasons put some facilities on board but I would actually avoid those because your kids aren't going to have a great time in my view and the passengers are not going to be as welcoming. Now some of the cruise lines actually have an adults only experience. So for example Viking Ocean does not allow people under 18 on. So what then are the cruise lines that you should focus on? Now I believe there are actually quite a lot of them and there are eight that I'm going to talk about. One of the best cruise lines to consider for families and multi-generational is Royal Caribbean especially their big new mega ships. They just have a vast array of facilities entertainment and things to do which will cater for all ages of kids so whether you've got young kids or teenagers there's going to be a huge range of things to do. 
They also are renowned for their kids clubs. They have very big kids clubs. They are really focused on making sure that families, when they come on board, have a great time. And if you ever go on a Royal Caribbean ship, you'll just find loads of families and loads of multi-generational travelers. Another phenomenal cruise line for families and multi-generational is Norwegian Cruise Line. Now, the great thing about Norwegian Cruise Line is they do in their bigger ships have a wider range of facilities. So they have things like water parks and other entertainment for you to get stuck into. But the great thing about Norwegian is their freestyle approach. So they have huge amounts of bars, they have huge amounts of restaurants, and lots of flexibility. Freestyle cruising is their concept. So if you want to go on a cruise, you know there's lots of people going to want to do lots of different things. Norwegian Cruise Line is a great cruise line to look at if you're traveling with a family and want huge amounts of flexibility. Again, they do have a lot of focus on families. They do have lots of family-centric entertainment and they do have great kids clubs. Another great cruise line for families is Carnival. Now Carnival is one of the most cost-effective, the, the best in terms of value. Now Carnival has a concept, what they call fun ships. The idea is to have loads and loads of fun. So many of their bigger new ships do have more facilities like water parks, but the real heart of it is having fun. So it's really upbeat, it's very energetic, and it's great value. They have some of the best prices that you're gonna get at sea. So if you're looking for a great value holiday, take a look at Carnival. They are the biggest individual cruise line in the world. They carry the most amount of passengers and they are very, very popular. They're really, really strong, particularly in the Caribbean. So if you're looking for a great sort of sunny summer holiday and you just want to have lots of fun. Now Carnival, like many of the other cruise lines, has partnerships with lots of well-known brands. So they have things like Dr. Seuss and they have really great kids clubs. So certainly people who've been on Carnival cruises with kids do rate the kids clubs very highly. So be reassured that they are really focused again on families. Now, if you want to take your kids on a much more multicultural experience, then I would really strongly recommend you take a look at MSC Cruises. This is a family-run company and they're very passionate about catering for families. Now, MSC Cruises is uh, Italian-inspired and they have increasingly big, large resort-style ships. But the official languages on board, there's six of them on board, it's very multicultural. So you're going to find lots of Spanish, Italians, people from the UK, some US. So it's very diverse. So it's a really great experience if you want to go on as a family and make sure that your kids meet and greet and get exposed to a very different mix of cultures. They do have great kids clubs as well. They have partnerships with brands like Lego and Chico. So they again have great facilities. At their heart is family and it's much more Mediterranean Italian feel. So something very different from say the Royal Caribbean or Norwegian, which is much more American at its heart. One of them, of course, has to be Disney Cruise Line. Disney, of course, are experts at dealing with kids. So not surprisingly, they have a cruise line and it's great for families. Now, Disney does tend to be best for kids really aged between about four and 11. That's really the sweet spot. That's the part that they cater for best. And of course, they know how to deal with kids. They know how to deal with families. But also in the cabins, many of the cabins have a great setup where you have basically in the bathroom two separate areas which are quite distinct. So you can actually have a sink and a, and, a, and a toilet in one area. You can also then be bathing or showering in another area. So the great thing is they have bathrooms which enable you to kind of all get ready at the same time. Now, if you're going on a multi-generational trip, don't exclude Disney completely because they do have some adult-only areas on the ship. So some of those are all during the day, some of them at parts of the night. So there are some times when as adults, you can basically escape kids and have an adults-only time on a Disney cruise. Now, one other cruise line to consider, particularly if you're going on a multi-generational cruise line, is Princess Cruises. Now, many people who go on multi-generational cruises love Princess Cruises. Now, Princess Cruises is a little bit more traditional and they don't have many of the big resort facilities that some of the other cruise lines do, but they do cater very well for multi-generational. So it's a slightly more traditional experience and although it's not an obvious one to think about for families, it is very popular for multi-generational. The older parts of the party will really love Princess Cruise Lines and the kids will be very welcome on board. The seventh cruise line to take a look at is P&O Cruises. Now, particularly if you're a traveler out of the UK, P&O Cruises are perfect for people looking for a British experience. Now, what's interesting about P&O is they have some ships which are designated adults only, and then they have other ships which are open and welcome to families. So P&O ships tend not to be resort-like. They are relatively traditional in terms of their style of cruising, but they do cater a lot for families. So they have more family cabins, they have good kids clubs, but it's a very British experience. So if you wanna go on a British 
family holiday, then take a look at P&O Cruises. Now, P&O Cruises, of course, also operates out of Australia. And again, they have a much more Australian experience. Now, if you do want to travel ultra luxury and you want to travel with kids, the one cruise line to take a look at is Hapak Lloyd Cruises. They are a very expensive cruise line, very upmarket, and the Europa 2 ship is the one designated as an international ship. Now, the great thing with them is, although it's very luxurious, they have a couple of perks. So if your kids are under the age of 11 and traveling in the same cabin as you, they actually travel for free. If they're over 11, you pay roughly about 100 euros, 100 dollars, about 100 pounds, you could argue, per kid per day. So it's relatively inexpensive to bring kids on board once you've paid the higher fee as adults. They also have a number of these family apartments, which are a, one of their veranda staterooms, and they're interconnected to a room which is specifically designed with kids in mind, with bunk beds, toys, and bathrooms which are designed for kids. So if you do want to travel ultra luxury, then take a look at Hapag Lloyd Europa 2. You will find in the season you're going to have a lot of kids on board. Bear in mind that the majority of them will be German speaking because it is a German line, but everything that you interact with will be in English. So if you want to go cruising with families, kids or multi-generational, there's a couple of key things to focus on. So do focus on big new modern ships because they're going to have much more facilities. Avoid the traditional cruise lines and focus on those eight key cruise lines. Disney, Royal Caribbean, Norwegian Cruise Line, MSC Cruises, p Cruises, Carnival Cruise Line, Princess Cruises, and if you want to go ultra luxury, Hapag Lloyd Cruises. Hopefully that's given you something to think about and it's helped guide you if you're thinking of going cruising with families and multi-generational. If you found this helpful, I'd love it if you watched many more of my Tips for Travelers videos because you'll get much more cruising and travel tips, inspiration, and advice.